What we're looking to is to provide a tool to enable students to collaborate and to collaborate in writing. The main thing about the course unit is that it's very different. It's different in its style. So it actually uses a series of problem scenarios. And as a student, you come in, you're put in a group with other students, probably from other nationalities, we hope from different academic backgrounds, we try and get them fairly mixed. So you're with a group of perhaps seven other students and you're given a scenario which you then have to tackle. I'm using wikis to help with the existing class, but it's also thinking forward to when one might do the same thing, uh, either by blended learning or entirely online. The principal ones are the use of wikis, uh, the use of blogs, but also we do um, online peer assessment. Um, now that is not using an existing tool in Blackboard, that was a tool that um, had to be prepared to, to fit in with what we do. We do use the other range of discussion tools, um, but we give the students a little bit of choice about what they may or may not use. So the focus tends to be on the wikis, the blogs and the peer assessment. Well, the overall pedagogy that we're using is problem-based learning. Um, so the students are working together in groups of seven or eight. It could be fewer, but usually seven or eight. And um, the objective is that they learn by doing. So they're given an, a, a problem. Um, I'm not quite sure I like the word problem, but they're given us a, a scenario where they have to come up with uh, an answer to uh, a situation where really there is no sensible straightforward answer. So in order to do this they have to do some background research because they are only given a fairly short brief. Um, they have to work with one another so they have to decide who is going to do what because they can't all do everything, there isn't sufficient time and then they have to collaborate in producing some form of assignment. This may be a, a written document, uh, quite often it is actually a wiki, um, sometimes it could be uh, a presentation, uh, in theory it could be a video, but we've not done that yet. We're looking at two approaches, one is where we're dealing with the possibility of students who may be part-time or even overseas, so where uh, online is a, a necessary way of working. Um, in terms of the, the students who are doing it currently, whether on a full-time face-to-face or largely face-to-face -face course, um, the wikis are a useful tool to help them to collaborate in terms of their writing. So that if you're trying to produce an assignment, a wiki is a very good use tool to use for that. One of the other forms of assessment is a reflective report on what they've done through the year or through the semester and in order to achieve that uh, we recommend, we don't impose, the use of the blog because this enables them week by week to actually record their, what they've learnt they feel about what they've learned, how they've got on with other people in, in their group. Um, but the use of a, a blogging tool um, is actually quite similar in many ways to a reflective log. Um, some students choose to ignore it and then spend the last week or two weeks trying to write up a reflective report on the whole semester uh, and find it's very difficult to do. So, although we recommend it, we don't impose it. Yes, uh, during uh, the first session of the semester, we brought in people from the e-learning team to explain uh, some of the techniques that we need to sort of get them involved with it in order to complete what we're achieving. Uh, for the, the peer assessment, we did this twice. We did it in a formative way, 
uh, entirely online without any assistance. And then for summative assessment, we did actually have a, um, a team of people on hand and used a computer cluster so that we could actually check that what they were doing was right. The experience halfway through the course showed that some of them had failed to understand the instructions and were actually not managing to complete it correctly. So it was necessary to make sure the support was there at that time. Clearly, if we were doing it as an online course, we would have to provide some more input at the beginning to get them used to this way of working. I think the use of the blog was something which did go well. What we tried to do was, um, in Blackboard, to introduce every two weeks, or, well, it was in practice every two weeks, it should have been every week, I suppose, a tip. So that there was something which said, when you're doing your blog this week, think about how you got on with other people in the group and how that's made a difference in the way in which you'll interact with people in the future. So there was a tip of that sort to help them complete their blog. Um, that worked quite well. Uh, as I said, there were one or two people who decided that they didn't need to do it, they could do it all at the end and then discovered, much to their sorrow, it wasn't that easy. So that's one of the things which went well. The peer assessment um, at the summative stage worked well. Uh, all the students managed to complete it correctly, which halfway through probably only about two thirds managed to complete it correctly. So um, yes, we, we learned that there's a need to, for practice for that. Well, um, in the course of this, we designed one exercise to be done completely online. So um, the scenario was delivered online. Um, they then had to use the discussion tools to relate to one another and build up on the wiki. Um, one group decided that the discussion tools were an admirable way of fixing a face-to-face -face meeting in the library. Um, so thus um, subverting um, the intention. Uh, one of the things which we found both this current year and previous years is that students will sometimes use other methods. And I've no objections if we provide a discussion tool on Blackboard and they choose to use um, Skype um, or Facebook or something of that sort, provided they let us know. Um, I think that's, that's fine. I, I think it isn't a question of forcing students into the technology. It's finding the technology which suits them. And it isn't always what's on Blackboard. In terms of devising the ways that we looked at things, probably about 20 hours uh, of my time, but I suspect rather more of Ian Hutt's time. Yes, I've needed quite some assistance in how to set things up and particularly with the peer assessment. I could not have completed the um, setting up a, an Excel spreadsheet from the Blackboard on my own. I could probably cope with the, the wikis and the blogs and putting in the, um, the materials for the course. Um, but um, setting up the peer assessment was quite an exercise. Uh, the student feedback was largely unfavourable. Um, they much preferred working together in face-to-face -face groups. Um, some students found that working online actually was better for them. Uh, once they got the hang of the wikis, they quite liked it. Um, the main thing they didn't like about the wikis was problems where two or three people were trying to simultaneously edit what was going on and this caused some confusion about what was the latest version um, and I think one or two of them resorted to using Google Docs instead. Uh, again as I said I've no objection what technology they use as long as it's appropriate to their need. Um, in terms of the blogs uh, most students found that helpful. Um, that's a very individual thing not a group thing. Uh, and I suspect that the resistance was really to those um, discussions in a group where you can't see the whites of the other person's eyes. 
Um, so if you're having an argument about who should do what, um, I think they'd prefer to do that in person rather than try and send one another um, messages via the discussion board.